Hello friends, welcome. So today I wanted to share with you the completed Alice in Wonderland junk journal. This was part of the um, making a junk journal series from start to finish and it was a four part series so this is the last part to it and um, I'm going to have it linked in the, the playlist linked in the description below if anyone was interested in checking out the other videos. Um, so I just kind of showed like how to, how I made the uh, cover, then we did signatures, and then ephemera, and now this week I'm going to be showing the completed uh, journal. So I had here a couple of things that I was using uh, for inspiration. I had this little jar and I put all these little uh, pieces in here so um, whoever ends up getting this journal can kind of open it and use those items if they want or you can keep it in there i had a few die cuts here as well and some beads and so i'm gonna finish um making this beaded uh tassel here or beaded charm i don't know what you call it beaded dangle uh for the journal i'm gonna um do that on camera i wanted to show you here this is the cupid uh this is the hearts it's called cupid i think i got this uh, from Michael's it's recollections. So I also included um, just the red hearts, red and a little bit of white inside that little mini jar. And then I had some magnets. This was for the trifold. Um, you'll see it towards the end, but those magnets weren't too good. So I ended up using some magnets I got from Dollar Tree. And you can use a needle there. I was just showing if you want to um, do a uh, bead your uh, dangle with a needle. Or you can, um, if the hole is big enough, you don't need a needle either. So those are some more charms. Um, I was also showing those beads that I got at the thrift store for a dollar. So that was an awesome sale that I found. And yeah, so I start off by um, putting the beads on. I'm going to show you how I put the beads on in a minute. But you want to kind of make sure that they're spread out evenly, I guess. Or, I mean, you can do it however you want. But... Uh, my process, I like to just um, spread them out all evenly. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and glue each bead into place so that they don't like spread out and like start kind of looking all wonky. You can also kind of like tie a knot, but the knots normally like um, the bead kind of gets through the knot. And I don't know, I just don't like doing the knots. I just prefer to use the uh, hot glue. So... Yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and hot glue those little pieces into place. But, so this is how I um, just put the bead in. As you can see, um, I put it through and then back over and under. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if you're able to see that clearly there. But um, I just put it back around and through the loop again. You can see that. And that's all you do and then just do that with all the beads and then just spread them out they can kind of like move up and down when you do it that way or you can just also just put it on and then put tie a little knot at the bottom as well for some of them I did that as well um, like the little beads the tiny ones that obviously you can't go through um, the bead twice because it's kind of really really uh, thin the hole is very tiny so then for those I'll just put a knot in there um, like that like the one I just showed you but then I'm also going to add um, some glue um, so in order to get the <laughs> if you're having like a hard time getting the tip in without like a needle you can just add some glue and then squeeze it to the tip uh, the end of the thread and that should help so that's normally what I do and yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead and tie all these in and then um add the glue like i said the hot glue to the ends of it after i um move them all into position where i want them i also make sure that the top loop and uh, the thread on the top um, the loop there, as you can see, is um, all the way, the 
the thread is facing to the top of the loop. I don't know. I'm going to kind of zoom in and show you a little better exactly what I mean by that. But all the threads, like all the strings, I have um, facing upward on the top of it instead of down. So that way when it goes in the cover, um, everything goes over nicely and it's not like dangling down but over uh, the edge of the book. So I'm also going to glue that in as well upward so you'll see that um, there as well. Kind of explain that a little better or you can actually see it better for yourself. Um, yeah. So again you see I'm just going through it again adding that glue to the tip because it was kind of getting um, spread out again. And so once it has the glue, you just kind of like squeeze it and then it should go in nicely. Um, this one was a little smaller, so it was kind of hard to do it. Um, I'm not sure if you can get the needle uh, through that one specifically because it was really, really tight. Um, so yeah, but that's how the dangle came out. I think I really love how it came out so that's uh what i was telling you you see the strings are facing upwards to the top of it so i'm just gonna go ahead and add some glue there so that way it stays in place and it doesn't shift or move um so yeah that's just like a little tip if you want to keep it all upwards you can also kind of tie a knot and add like a little bead to the top um yeah, if you have like a big enough hole, that, that'll work as well to keep them all together. And so now you can see I'm taking the hot glue and adding it there um, right inside those little holes. And then on the top and on the bottom. And then for the smaller, thinner ones... Um, like the stars and the smaller beads i'm just putting the glue on the string and then um pushing it through so that it, the glue is inside in the middle of uh the bead so yeah so those should stay nicely in place and they shouldn't uh, have a problem you know moving up and down or out of place so that's just a tip there i mean this is just an extra step this is what i like to do um yeah and i think it looks really good when you uh, take the time to add this extra step so now um i'm also gonna glue the top here to get off you can always pull that off um but that's just so that it doesn't fall off by itself um, and then I also did uh, reinforce the uh, metal piece, the little hook, with E6000, so that piece shouldn't come off either. It should be pretty intact now. And yeah, I did add a few uh, extra things uh, from the last video, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the different changes that I made um, inside. So in that little keyhole in the front, I did uh, colored in black so because um, there was kind of red showing through and I wanted it to be uh, shaded in black. So I did add that. And then on the inside, when we look here, I did say I was going to um, add a little closure mechanism thingy here. So this is what I came up with. Um, I just had this leaf there and so I kind of put that on one of those little um goodness i don't even know the name of it but you can see what i use here like little brad and then here is like a flip down you can kind of journal on the bottom or it's like kind of like a, one of those hidden tucks and then a journaling card here that i sold around all the edges and then this is um a scoring card you know a scoring board uh, to take down uh, your scores and whatnot if you're playing a game to keep score. And then here you can see just the paper, the same paper um, that you've seen before. So this is 
the Sampria Alice in Wonderland uh, theme paper pack. And I added these little tags here to the corner and a little corner tuck. And then a nice little frame um, you can use pretty much to add like a photo or whatever. And then this is just some extra uh, scraps and kind of like journaling cards and papers. You can cut them up into maybe like tags or some more belly bands. You can see here the belly bands with the cards here. I think that's really cute. And then some more vintage um, music sheets. I also added a mushroom wax seal stamp and a little um teacup stamp on the corner there and then in that pocket was just um a journaling card and then here we have some more cute little items that i just put there with a bunch of little cards inside the little mini envelope and some more ephemera you can use to decorate the journal with and you can put that on there as well like so or just you know put it in there and then i added some twine to this little specimen card and then here is just a little writing space and then here i have a bunch of more ephemera to decorate the journal with in there as well so lots of journaling space lots of ephemera uh, to decorate with yeah I wanted to make sure that there was lots and lots of writing space and just lots of ephemera to decorate with and I think I accomplished that here this is a cute little postcard it came with the pack and then some extra writing paper here as well all the pages in the book um, are from the Stamperia or the plain page as you see here is coffee dyed this is a little hidden tuck spot then you see in here this little uh, mini junk journal that I made real real cute I love playing with the little hands here as you can see in the front of the clock and then inside I did some stamping a little bit of stamping added some die cuts to it and yeah it's pretty much a mixture of little uh, pieces of scrap paper doilies and what have you and there's another little uh, wax seal at the end there this I turned into a magnet um, kind of like a bookmark or a little you know bookmark magnet and then this is another little journal little mini writing area another journaling card here some more writing sheets and um, yeah, that was, uh, the, I used the, those little magnets, um, I got them from Dollar Tree, I think, and then this is just a plain card here that you can use to journal or mail for Happy Mail. That's a cute little Alice in Wonderland wax seal. Then you may have also seen this in the other video, cute little Cheshire uh, tag there. And I just added this little die cut to the belly band that is cute. Then another journaling card as well. There, another stamp on the corner there, it says T. And we have this little envelope with an altered playing card. And then this little, um card here and yeah and some more journaling cards this can be made into like little belly band another place to write and I did a stitch all around all the pages in the book and these are all coffee dyed papers I made this cute little shaker with the rabbit in there and then these little charms in the end I love how it came out so cute and then we have here the little mini clipboard and um, some more tags journaling cards and uh, some coffee dyed tickets there 
as well. And another journaling card, space to write. Lots and lots of space to write here. I had so much fun making this journal. Then I uh, decided to put this uh, Matt Hatter on some wobbly, <laughs> what do they call these? Um, wobble toppers. I got that from, I think, Joanne's. And I just put him like coming out of a window. So I thought that was really cute. And then here is just a bookmark that came with the ephemera pack for um, this set. And then I just added a little charm here, a little key charm. And then when you pull it out, it's just a little journaling card, some more space to write there. You can also add um, some more stuff in that pocket. So, yeah, plenty of space there, lots of pockets throughout, and you can, like, collage on a lot of those sheets. There's some more little, um, pieces that you can use, more die cuts, uh, to decorate with. And, yeah, I think all of these, um, are just so cute in this little pocket here. And... Yeah, there's still plenty of room that you can add some more stuff to it, definitely. Some more plain pages that you can uh, journal on. And then this is the back of the book. That's just a plain um, card there. A blank card and some more um, paper there that you can use. Those frames you can add photos to. And the back here, I added a little Cheshire and then the rabbit in the back. And so I did say I wanted to make an extra um, fabric cover to this. I asked the Facebook group which kind of trim should I use. Uh, this one or another one I had here. I'll probably pop it in here on the top so you can see what I was talking about. And everyone chose this one. And I really did like this one. I just wasn't sure because I really liked the other one as well. So yeah. Um this one was chosen and I really like the way it came out and yeah I'm just going in um, sewing in this cover if you like a tutorial on the cover I'll probably show that later on as well just let me know in the comments below also if you made it here to this part please don't forget to give a big thumbs up and um, if you're new here, um, please consider subscribing. I appreciate everyone's support. Thank you so much. And so here's the finished cover. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to add more decorations to it or just leave it blank. I think the cover on the inside has a lot going on with the print. And this kind of just like mellows it down. Um... And so, yeah, I mean, you can add to the cover if you'd like, or you can leave it as so. So it fits really nice and snug inside, as you can see. And you just push it in like so. And that's it. And I think it looks really nice and simple in the front like this. Uh, at the end, I do kind of like put the clipboard in the front with another little die cut. looks really cute. But you can see there at the top the way I glued it all on the top. So it kind of comes over like I said. So they lay nicely against the spine of the book. And yeah, I also did add batting. So it's a very cushed cover. Like it feels nice and smooth and soft. I just love the way these dangles feel too. So cute. And I think it came out um, really nice with both covers of the book. So the fabric cover and the hard cover on the inside. Um, yeah, and then you can still go ahead and uh, tie these in like so. Um, I was thinking about adding some more to it, but like I said, I mean, sometimes I feel like less is more. I just really like the simplicity of just leaving the cover like this with the pom-poms. And yeah, I think it looks really nice on a shelf with just the dangles. I just loved it so much. And it just, like I said, it just feels so nice in the hands and it's so squish and soft. And yeah, like I said, I was thinking about adding this, but then I felt like it was just too much. I also did like just uh alice there in the front 
I wish it was fabric. I would have sewn it in. I mean, I could have sewn it into the paper, but I just didn't really, I don't know. I wasn't really feeling it. So I really like the way this turned out like this. And so now I'm going to show you the uh, trifold. I ended up decorating this a little bit. As you can see, I put this little dangle here. Uh, just a couple little die cuts. Um, this is actually chipboard. The um, little teapot. And then it just says it's always time for uh, it's always tea time in the front there with some fabric scraps and I closed this with um, some magnets I was gonna cover the magnets but when I put the paper over it just wasn't as strong so yeah it didn't bother me that it was exposed I like it and all the papers that I chose kind of like tea themed in here um, and then here is a little pocket on the side, little hidden pocket there, and then, um, and just open it like so, it says, uh, tea party on the front there, added a little bit of fabric scraps, that's also a little pocket on the bottom, and then you open it here, and just have another piece of scrap there you can use to decorate and this little die cut piece so cute then on the inside here it says we're all mad here and they're all having tea they're at the tea party and this is the little book that i made out of altered playing cards as you can see there and yeah and the little charm and so forth and that's just how it closes up and this will also go alongside the journal as an add-on I think everything came out really nicely here so you can see then you can just close it like so but uh, the magnets there that's the back of it and I added some um, gilding wax all around the edges as well on the inside and the outside as well as the journal. So that's how they look side by side. I really love this set. I love the way it came out. I hope you enjoyed. And I love uh, looking at everyone's photos they've been sharing of their journals in the Facebook group. Thank you all for joining me. I uh, had a lot of fun with this and I hope you did too and also gained a lot of inspiration and some fun tips and tricks along the way as well for your journals. Uh, please don't forget, like I said, to like the video and subscribe. Also leave a comment in the comment section as well. And yeah, I will see you soon in another video. And that's how it looks from the bottom and the side. Oh yeah, I did forget to show the measurements of this book. I think it was like 8.5 by 8.5, I'm not sure. Something along those lines, or 8 by 8.5. And, and yeah, that's a little dangle there. I'm just obsessed with it. I love the way it came out. So cute. And you can see there how I put the little um, clipboard in the back. I will see you later. Bye-bye.